It has already been kind of a wild week here in the world of Destiny 2. Earlier at Reset, we had the release of the new Harbinger Exotic Quest, which is going to be a weekly repeatable quest that is really, really hard for one, and for another, rewards you with the random rolled versions of the Hawkmoon, as well as an exotic ship tied to a quest that you can pick up from the Crow right now. There's already been tons, tons, and tons, and tons of excitement around that and the rolls that you can get with the Hawkmoon. But this week, in this week's issue of the Bungie Weekly Blog, This Week at Bungie, for the week of January 21st, 2021, we also got some really great information about future content, returning reward systems, and how exactly we'll be chasing some new enhanced gilded titles in Season 13. Buckle up, we've got some really good news to cover in this week's TWAB, especially after some of the salt of last week's. They're actually going to be addressing the reward situation, at least just a little bit. So, let's go ahead and dive on in. In a section titled Sticking Around, we're going to be learning about some changes to the way seasonal activities work, which seasonal activities will be sticking around for the rest of the year, and which will be disappearing on a season-by-season -season basis. Basically, Bungie gave us a nice little list to follow for what's going to be sticking around from Season of the Hunt all the way until the end of Year 4. And that includes story missions, which will be able to be launched from the Node and the Director, Wrathborn Hunts, the Adored Quest is also going to continue to be available, the Crow's Vendor Screen on the Tangled Shore, the Hawkmoon Exotic Quest and the Master Activity, the Seasonal Seal and Warden Title, and of course the Seasonal Seal must still be earned by the deadline on the Bungie Rewards page. But due to a currently ongoing glitch that's kind of blocking your access to the seal, they will be extending that deadline a bit. If you are unaware of those closing dates, you can actually head over to the Bungie Rewards page, and it's this one right here, the exclusive Warden Seal. Initially, it says you have to earn it by at least February 9th, 2021, and the deadline to claim it is going to be February 12th, 2021. But again, Bungie said they're going to be adjusting this date since there are some things that are keeping you from claiming the Triumph and the Seal as it is right now. But that's not all we hear about when it comes to changing activities. Here are a few things that will no longer be available at the end of the season. These include Crow's Bounties, Messages from the Field, Seasonal Artifact, and of course, the Season Pass itself is going to refresh with a new one when Season 13 starts. Bungie goes on to state that shifting to keep more of this content around after the season ended has created some weirdness for the Season of the Hunt, which was initially designed assuming the old model. This is why Crow was still hanging around in the spider's lair after being unceremoniously kicked out earlier in the season. You may see other anomalies involving Crow in Season 13, as he'll be moving to a new destination while also remaining on the Tangled Shore to enable Season of the Hunt content tied to his inventory. Season 13 should avoid these rough edges as its content has been designed from the outset to remain throughout Year 4. So essentially, the answer to the question of why is the crow still in the spider's lair? It has to do with the way that seasons work. He was supposed to be leaving, but because they're leaving this content available in its current form until the end of the year, rather than getting rid of it at the end of this season, crow had to stay put. And I'm glad Bungie is giving us a clear list of what content is going to be staying in the game and what content will be disappearing in a few weeks. But speaking of disappearing and reappearing content, we have got a reappearing reward system from a season or two back that I am really excited about. The Umbral Engram system is coming back to Destiny 2. Shoot, I think I said a season or two back. I think this was season 11. We got one season of greatness when it came to Umbral Engrams. And if you are a new Guardian, man, you're in for a treat with this system as it allowed for a much more streamlined loot feed, enabling you to grind for the gear, the weapons, the armor that you wanted to go for. <clears throat> Let's hear what they have to say. Back in 2020, Season of Arrivals introduced a new feature called Umbral Engrams, which allowed Guardians to focus rewards to the type of weapons and armor rolls they most desired. The system was well received by the community, so we decided to do a little tuning and bring them back for Season 13 as well as future seasons in Year 4. Yes! Super happy about this. Anyways, while the new seasonal activity will always provide the fastest path to earning new rewards, we want to ensure that regardless of how you spend your time in Destiny, Umbral Engrams allow you to chase new rewards. Similar to the Season of Arrivals, Umbral Engrams will drop from completing a variety of content. We have pared back the number of activities they will drop from, so you can focus on the following activities if you are looking to farm some Umbral Engrams. And those activities include patrols, strikes, crucible, 
Gambit, Nightfall Ordeals, Public Events, Blind Well, Nightmare Hunts, Exo Challenges, Empire Hunts, and New Seasonal Activities. This is fantastic. The Umbral Ingram system, which allowed you to kind of pick and choose the rewards you wanted to get from your Ingram, so much so that it received almost universal praise as a system from uh, back in Season 11. I, I compared it to being a beautiful upgrade to the kind of the Chalice of Opulence we had back in the Season of Opulence. It's coming back, and you're going to be able to get these things from all types of activities here. Really happy to see stuff like Blindwell there. We know with the Dreaming City weapons coming back into the fore, it's going to hopefully breathe new life into those repeatable activities that you really didn't have any reason to play. Very psyched about this. Anyways, they go on to say that Umbral Engrams will also have a chance to drop from defeating enemies anywhere in the game. So even if you're not grinding this list of activities and playlists, you'll still be earning some Umbral Engrams. Additionally, you may notice fewer Umbral Engrams sitting in your inventory than before. While it was fun to watch Umbral Engrams rain down on players in Season 11, the drop rates were higher than expected, and so we're rebalancing the drop rate. I think that's fine. They're, they're right. Um, while I love the Umbral Engram system, we did get a lot of those things for basically doing nothing back in Season 11. So I think toning down the drop rate is perfectly fine, especially when you can literally play whatever activity you want almost and get these things. Good stuff. There will be a short quest to show players how to use the new Prismatic Recaster, and we'll be reading more about that below, to focus the Umbral Engrams. This quest will be account-wide, so you'll only have to do it once. All really fantastic news. And of course, alongside the Umbral Engram revamp, we've got a revamped Prismatic Recaster. The Prismatic Recaster returns as a kiosk with the capability to change Umbral Engrams into focused Umbral Engrams, which will contain a smaller, more curated loot table. Because Umbral Engrams are here to stay, the new recaster will have different pages for each season and you will be able to focus Engrams to the season of your choice. Once you've used the Prismatic Recaster to focus your Engram, you will still need to take it to the Umbral Decoder to claim your new reward. And of course, Season of the Hunt's Wrathborn rewards will not be featured on the Prismatic Recaster in Season 13, because players can still use their Wrathborn lore to chase specific weapons and roles, so those two things won't be cannibalizing each other. This, again, great news. If you're a newer player, the way it worked is Umbral Engrams would drop from specific activities. They would have a different loot pool than what was available uh, from basically the normal world loot pool. And as you upgraded your Prismatic Recaster, you could curate your rewards for those Umbral Engrams by spending a specific currency you got for completing basic activities in the game and focus the reward of that engram towards something specific. So if you're trying to get the gnawing hunger, you could focus your engram so that it only had a drop list of two items, and one of those items was the gnawing hunger, meaning it was perfect for grinding out god rolls and specified high stat roll armor and stuff like that. It was an amazing system. I was sad to see it go away, but I am psyched to see it return. Now, of course, the final part of this is the Prismatic Lens. They have a new way to unlock different focusing options for your Umbral Engrams through a new reward called Prismatic Lenses. A Prismatic Lens will unlock a new focusing option so you can target a narrower collection of gear and target specific armor stats. You'll be able to earn prismatic lenses by doing various activities in the game, and you can track your progress towards unlocking lenses at the prismatic recaster. I don't want to spoil everything though, so they'll let you discover how to start earning these in Season 13. So not only are we going to be able to curate uh, our rewards like we were with the prismatic recaster in Season 11, but they're also going to be separated by season. They said earlier you'll be able to kind of swap through different seasons worth of gear. This is a great change. It's a focus change. Uh, I've always referred to it as being kind of a, like a, the, the targeted loot system in another game I love, The Division 2, which does something similar in that it allows you to focus towards the exact rewards you want to grind for and then playing whatever content you want will get you those rewards. This is a fantastic system, and while it doesn't fix all of the biggest problems with sunsetting, I am very happy to see that this is coming next season with the enhanced world loot pool. Hopefully there's going to be some pretty good stuff to grind out in there. I would love to see sundial weapons and whatnot pop back up in the loot pool for these umbral engrams. There's so much possibility here, and I'm really happy Bungie's moving forward with it. Good job, Bungie. You're starting to address the real community concerns here. But alright, that is not the last thing to talk about in this week's TWAB, because we learned about a new gilded version of titles. So, coming directly from Bungie's Triumph's design team, they state that they wanted to share a change coming to seals and titles in Season 13. As I'm sure you've noticed, we've been shipping a flawless and conqueror title each of the last three seasons. 
We like the idea of re-engaging with titles season over season, but we don't like the challenge and time commitment of doing the entire thing every season. So it's time to make a change. Very happy to hear about this, by the way. And then, of course, they list out their goals with this change. They want to allow players to show off their engagement with the core rituals season over season. They want to preserve the value of earning the base title, and they want to decrease the amount of grind required season after season for players that want to earn them all. So with this in mind, starting with Season 13, if a player has completed the seal for one of their core ritual titles, uh, for example Unbroken, Dredgen, Flawless, or Conqueror, players will have a series of additional seasonal objectives to guild that title. But what does gilded actually mean here? Well, don't worry, they explain that too. It means there will be a series of seasonal objectives required to guild a core ritual title. This will give you a new border around the seal in the Triumphs UI. It will also give you a pip tracking how many times in your career you've gilded a given title, and a new color and symbol for your title will go over your head. So that you can show off, of course. So basically, gilding titles will be extra little challenges you can do season after season to gain additional bragging rights. Now, what do you have to do to gild a title? Well, once you finish the base seal and claim your hard-earned title, a list of optional seasonal objectives will be revealed. By completing these seasonal objectives, you'll earn your guild for the season. And then, when the season is done, the optional gilding objectives will reset and may even change to fit the unique experience of any given season. All the base objectives of the title will be preserved, and your title will revert to its typical purple coloring. And this is going to apply to titles like Flawless, Conqueror, Unbroken, and Dredgen. This is going to be a brand new system that they're kind of testing out here, so be sure to give Bungie your feedback. Ultimately, I like the idea of it. I don't want to have to go and earn Conqueror season after season, so if I can just get the base Conqueror seal and then do like some extra challenges every season to get it golden so I can show off it even more, that's fantastic. That's, that's perfect for me. And the fact that it doesn't get rid of your Conqueror when the season ends and these Gilded titles reset, I think is a great change. It's just a little extra thing for in-game players to do uh, on a season-by-season -season basis. I don't find anything wrong with that. But alright, Guardians, that is pretty much it for the biggest bits of news contained in this week's issue of the Bungie Weekly Blog, This Week at Bungie. Really happy about the Umbral Ingram changes. I don't know if you could tell. I'm a little excited about that. When I got home from work, sat down, started up the computer, pulled up the TWAB and read that, I was like, yes! Finally! Super happy. Bungie has committed to expanding the reward pool in the game right now, giving players more things to play and more things to play for. You know, this is a looter shooter. Giving me more reasons to play it, more loot to chase, and a more focused way to do it is always going to get your boy excited. But anyways, those are my thoughts. Be sure to leave me yours down in the comment section below. Do you like these changes? Are you psyched about the Umbral Engrams? And how do you feel about gilded titles and all that? Be sure to let me know. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. But now for now, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.